So here we are, uh, sort of the first moving bench test of the uh, electrical system here. Uh, so I've got my motor mounted here in the back. I do have this uh, this sort of supplementary sprocket down here at the bottom so that the motor will be, let's see if I can get a shot of this, so that the motor is uh, engaging with the side of the chain and not actually inside it. The reason I did this was that I found that my motor spins um, the wrong way, basically. The controller or the motor, for some reason, won't allow the motor to spin at top speed both ways. It only allows it to spin at top speed clockwise. And the way this is all set up, you can see that I would have to take the motor from where it is and flip it over and make it face sort of the other way. Uh, obviously, I don't have the room to do that, so I had to figure out something else here or get a new motor controller system, which I really didn't feel like doing. So here I have it all hooked up. Uh, it is hooked into my battery and my Hall effect and all my stuff. Here's my forward reverse. And I uh, switch that um, to forward. And there's my throttle pedal. And it sure ain't pretty, but it does work, uh, sort of. So let's have a look. So, obviously, because this is a, uh, not a, not a very precise and amazing machine shop, uh, I have a, quite a bit of wobble here. There's a lot of noise. The, the, uh, my go-kart clutch wobbles because I had to sort of rig up a system by which to attach it to the motor shaft. But it does, at least for the moment, appear to work. And the good news is that it even looks like it works when I give the wheels a little bit of resistance. The chain doesn't, uh, doesn't fall off the sprocket, which is good. And I actually, um, I did put some resistance on the wheels. There's only so much I can do by hand here, but uh, I did put some resistance on the wheels. I will try to set the camera up so that you can see that, so that I can actually use both hands here. I'll put this back. Let's see where will I put it over here. Uh, let's see if I can make this sort of rig up such wise, perhaps. That's not too bad. So if I come over here and turn it on again. So there you have it, kind of. It's uh, pretty crude, but it seems to work. So there you go. What else can I say? I guess we'll put it all back together and throw the motor on and at some point take her for a test run. See you later, YouTube cycle cardists.